Hey guys, Besa Gordon here. Of course, it is time for another episode of Rewind with Besa. I hope that you had an amazing week. Obviously, it is now Friday and this video was supposed to be up yesterday. But you know what? Because it's up Friday, it just means that you get a longer video, alright? So let's start with our events because you know I like for you guys to know what is going on in the city. First and foremost, tomorrow I will be in Tacoma at Essence Lounge for the single Let's Mingle party. It's actually going to be an R&B party. So if you want some good R&B vibes after maybe you go out and I know there's like some concerts going on so you know once you go to the concert bring your little cell phone over to Essence and have a good little time. Tomorrow there is going to be Black Market. This is actually happening at Amazon and I've been to some of these Amazon parties. They are typically really dope. They're always very black and as you can see there is a plethora of DJs that are going to be there. I'm thinking about pulling up. This is also happening tomorrow and of course if you go to whereweconverge.com hit up the events page you are able to to get more information on this event. Now Blue starts this Saturday and in case you guys do not know, Blue is an all black opera. Like when I say all black, I mean all black. Check out this trailer and then check out an interview from Joshua who happens to star on Blue. all black you know it was even intentional that you know we made sure because you know a lot of times it's hard to find people like to black people to like move sets yeah. and different things like that and so when they couldn't hire you know enough you know black people to do that so they put it on us they said you know what we want to make sure that this show stays black even when it comes to moving sets so like i'm i'm out there helping moving pushing tables you know moving chairs all of that, so just to make sure that we keep this opera as black as possible, which is 100% black. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to see Blue right away because I don't really know what I was thinking when I heard the name, but once I saw the trailer and once I seen what he had to say about the cast, I was like, okay, I've never been to like an opera opera, so I might as well pull up to one that's all black. Hit me up on IG at Besa Gordon. Let me know if you already grabbed some tickets. And if you send me an email, Besa at whereweconverge.com, I might be able to get you some tickets. I believe we at least have one more pair less. So y'all got until 2 o'clock to get that entry in. We also have Black Violin that is starting March 4th. And of course, that will be playing at Paramount Theater. And then in terms of things that I did, because you guys know I like to be out there and live my best life. I ended up going to Fill to Table with my girl, Key Porter. We were at the communion table. Table. and honestly I didn't realize that fill the table was so intimate I feel like if you were to go and it's your first time going unless you're going on like a date I suggest going with like three to six people I feel like three to six people is enough for you to all have like the best experience because you end up having the whole field that's open you're not necessarily able to walk through the whole stadium but you're able to walk through a nice part of that field and go around and take photos so if I were you and when fill the table comes back next year pull up with about five or six of your friends and have your best life. Now I also went to the Jazz and Sullivan concert which was a vibe. The only thing that I had that was an issue and it was my own fault. I thought it was a good idea to walk up in there in some heels and <laughs> let's just say that was the first and last concert that I'm ever doing that at. Other than that I ended up going to a day party over at Gold Bar which was hosted by Curated Vibes. I'm bringing this up because people are always asking me, Mesa, what party was this? Where was that at? Oh my goodness, where are you finding all the black people? I tell you guys all the time where to go. I just feel like y'all don't be listening. So in terms of this particular party, it was by Curated Vibes. So I suggest you follow the page. That way you know where the next party is. I also went to Communion, okay, on Friday nights. Communion has late nights. Basically, you pull up at about 11 p.m. and it's a party, it's a party, it's a party, okay? If you haven't gone, you've definitely been missing out. And everyone is very friendly. Everyone is very lit, but everyone is very friendly there. So definitely pull up to Communion. Get there early because there will be a line. Now, that is about it in terms of what I got into. Let's get into this rewind news first. Cardi B basically was in the news lightweight this week. After 
after someone asked her opinion on everything that's happening out here right now. Now, of course, after her tweet went out, people had things to say. Everybody always feels like Cardi B should mind her own business. When in reality, somebody asked her her opinion. Like, is she supposed to ignore every question that she gets on social media? Either way, this is her response to everyone that had something crazy to say. And actually, in this particular tweet that she was responding to, someone was like, this isn't Cardi B, give her her phone back. She had to pop up and be like, mm, no, this is me. And these are my thoughts. The phone is not hacked. It's really me. I actually want to say a lot of things, but I'm just going to mind my business because sometimes I feel like I have such a big platform that if I say the, if I don't say the right things, I might get killed. But I'm really not on NATO side. I'm really not in Russian side. I'm actually in the citizen side because at the end of the day, the world is having a crisis right now. There's inflation not only in America, but everywhere in the world. It's really hard to get um, the economy back up. There is so much shipments and embarkments backed up. China's not really messing with us. So a lot of things are behind. A lot of goods are behind. And this shit just made it way more complicated. So I'm just really annoyed by this. And I really wish that all world leaders right now just really come with a logical conclusion. But whatever. Hmm. Now, at the end of the day, I totally agree with her in terms of you're kind of damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And a lot of times when it comes to cancel culture, it really just kind of depends on, well, what the popular opinion is of that moment. There's a lot of things that go around and people won't necessarily voice their opinion. But when you are behind closed doors, all of a sudden you find out that they're thinking a whole different thing. So with that being said, we're just going to go to the next topic. Kanye West dropped Donda 2. Surprisingly, he actually dropped it on time. Okay, what he did not do on time was have his listening party. I don't know what is up with this man. He doesn't even necessarily have proper openers to where he could be late. Like that would, that's the biggest difference. Like if I'm gonna be at your concert and you know good and well that you wanted to start at nine so that way the energy starts going in the building, at least have some openers so I'm not just sitting here listening to heartbeats because in case you guys did not watch it, before it actually started, you really only heard a bunch of heartbeats which kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. So I was like, I'll be back when the show actually starts. Either way, hours later, the show ends up starting. Of course, the fans loved it and believe it or not the only way to listen to Kanye West's latest album down to two is by getting his device that is called the stem player he's charging $200 for this item and I don't know about anybody else but I'm actually not mad at it because essentially he is making $200 an album right about now and the only thing that you can listen to on that stem player at the moment, you know, who knows, he might be working with Tidal to make it to where Tidal music is on there. You never know, never know. Um, right now, that is the only way that you can listen to his album. Unless you decide to watch the stream of his concert, the only way that you can actually listen to Donda 2 is by grabbing that device. So, being that Kanye West actually knows that he has a diehard fan base, I don't blame him. Now, if you have a pool or any type of a nice backyard where you have people that actually come in and do work for you, I suggest if you do not get some cameras because this is what happened with Monica apparently somebody came by to fix a leak in her backyard and he decided to take a dip in her pool and I'm like good sir the audacity I don't even feel like he took his clothes off all the way so at that point this is like all kinds of unsanitary I don't care if there's chlorine in there I don't know what you've been doing and what other yards you've been crawling around in so with that being said if you don't have a camera in your backyard actually in general because you know people are weird I suggest you install one. Looks like this is just about a dub for our good sis Wendy Williams. Um, Sherry Shepard has been taking over for her for a while and it uh, looks like allegedly, and I say allegedly because I never watched it, but apparently the audience really enjoyed Sherry Shepard. So once it was finally announced that Wendy Williams will not be returning to her chair, Sherry Shepard was actually able to announce that she will be getting her own show come September. Check out what she had to say. Starting in September, I am debuting my own talk show, Sherry! <laughs> I am so excited because I am going to be joining the Debmar Mercury family. That is the company that produces this show and several others that you love. Hey, Nick! I want to say there have been all of these crazy stories online about me replacing Wendy. And I am here to tell you that that is not true because no one can replace the queen. It is Wendy's place to share her story with you. But I do want to give the queen her, her, her props and her flowers because Wendy had a legendary career in radio. And this show was specifically crafted for her. When God says, do you trust me? He don't need a lot of faith, just a little bit. 
And when God says it's so, it will be. So thank you. Now, in all actuality, I can totally understand why some Wendy fans are feeling a way about what Sherry Shepard ended up saying. Mainly because to them, she's saying, oh my God, I didn't take Wendy's job. When in reality, it's like, you might not have taken it, but you were the replacement. Like, I feel like the whole reason why they're making it to where they're not going to change it to the Sherry Shepard show until September is because they need to build it out. They need to figure out the design, they need to build it out, so at this point they're like, look, we're just gonna ride out the rest of this season, and then once this season is over, we will do a full gutting and change this up. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, it sucks for Wendy Williams, but it's still a blessing for Sherry Shepard. Um, I think... I think that Wendy Williams should actually do a podcast. If you ask me, she is very raw, and when she's on, you know, these major channels, she does kind of have to tone herself down just a little bit, right? But if she had her own podcast, she could say whatever the heck she wanted, especially being that it's Wendy Williams, she could honestly put it on her own platform, and I'm pretty sure people would pay to listen. Now, rapper Koyla Ray, she is actually Ben Zeno's daughter. If you watch, if you know about The Source, and also if you watched uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta back in the day, you will know Ben Zeno. You know, okay, and he has a daughter named Carla Ray. She has some really cute songs out there. Well, allegedly, she had a song with Nicki Minaj at least until Benzino started yapping his mouth on Clubhouse. I don't want to play the video because Clubhouse is actually an app where you're not supposed to record things, so it really sucks when people actually do come out and they like do a screen grab, but whatever, we digress. In a nutshell, according to Coyla Ray, somebody was on the app talking crazy about her and her dad decided to defend her by saying that she had a song with Nicki Minaj coming out. Now I'm not sure if this tweet came first, if this IG post came first, or this video of Coyla Ray basically scolding her daddy. Check it out. Just came on and say that because my dad pissed me off. I, my dad is my like he one thing about me and him like he gonna go hard for me every single time. He not gonna let nobody talk crazy about me and nothing. So I guess it was a situation where people was yapping their mouth on the clubhouse and he felt like he had to defend himself. But I had to tell my dad like you know him he's an OG and he's super super he's big. You know back in the day everybody knows my dad OG but like I have to tell him I'm. I'm in the front right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zeno got to know he got to play the back, you know, gracefully. Because it's my turn now, you know? It's my turn, daddy. I'm going to need you to sit the now, grab you some popcorn, enjoy the show, and clap for me when it's time to clap for me. All right, daddy? Don't worry. I told him this before I hopped on live, so don't think I'm on live talking to him. At the end of the day, if she really did have a song with Nicki Minaj and her dad mentioning that on Clubhouse is what canceled it. It's kind of jacked up, but at the end of the day, the same thing happened to Cardi B. If you guys don't remember, Cardi B was supposed to have a song with Beyonce and apparently I think her producer leaked the song and the song never came out. So... I'm not that surprised. All right, y'all, that is all that I got for this week's Rewind with Besa, okay? Make sure that you pull up on me Saturday at Essence Lounge. I will be in Tacoma. And also, for anyone that's wondering what is going on at Cube, child, I don't know, okay? I know as much as you do. What I do know is that my key card still works, and that is all that matters to me, okay? So although you can't listen to me on 93.3 right now, if you have the iHeartRadio app, you can still listen to me on the weekends and Jammin1075, and you can listen to me Sunday nights on B95. And honestly, that's really all that I know right about now. With radio, things are always up in the air. You never know what's going on, but this little article that I've been popping up right here pretty much says everything that you need to know because that is all that I know. So with that being said, like I said, you guys have until 2 o'clock today to enter to win those tickets to see Blue. Um, it's a Seattle opera, so it's going to be playing at McCall Hall starting this weekend. So definitely shoot me an email, basa at where we converge .com if you would like to go, and I might be able to pick you. We don't have a lot of tickets, but hey, that's why it's a giveaway. And otherwise, I'll talk to you guys really soon. You already know. Keep up with me on IG at Basil Gordon. And of course, have an amazing rest of your week.